In this video, I go fishing for El Gran Maha and the Bloop in real life. First up, I find the Bloop and El Gran Maha in real life, and they are huge. Then while fishing for El Gran Maha, I get thrown overboard into the water. Right after you guys hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Here we go! All right, everyone, before I go fishing for El Gran Maha and the Bloop, we're gonna watch a couple videos to get more familiar with them. This one is called Mega El Gran Maha versus Godzilla. Oh, is that Godzilla, dude? Oh, dude, it's Godzilla. Oh my God. Where's El Gran Maha? Oh, there's El Gran Maha. Wait a second. It looks a little strange. Guys, who do you think is gonna win the battle? El Gran Maha or Godzilla? Bro, look, they're fighting! Oh! -ho! Oh my god, dude, he just shouted in his mouth. He just smacked him with his tail. <laughs> dude, it's just that awesome. <laughs> okay. El Gran Maha, that was pretty pathetic. I'm not gonna lie. He just, he just stepped on you. Oh! But he's not done yet. Dude. That is crazy. Bro. Bro, he just shot his laser beam. Oh my god, dude. Bro, this is wild. Dude. Oh, look at the battle. They're fighting. Oh my god, that is literally, they're really funny. Yo. Bro! Godzilla's turning Super Saiyan! Wait, oh, he just sucked him into the water! Okay, now Godzilla's screwed. Wait, hold on a sec. I, I heard Godzilla's like actually pretty good underwater, so this battle might actually still be in favor of Godzilla. Dude, they're battling! Wait, now they're underwater! Oh, it's turning Super Saiyan again! Whoa, wait, he just did. Whoa. Oh, he just sliced El Gran Maha in half. Ah, Godzilla defeated El Gran Maha. Oh my god, there's so. There's more than one El Gran Maha? Well, whoever made this animation is clearly in favor of Godzilla, because let's be real. El Gran Maha would probably win. Actually, I don't know. Who do you think would actually win? Okay, next up we're gonna look at some other sea creatures that if you see in the middle of the ocean, you should get out fast. You spot these while swimming in the ocean. Bro, what is that? But before I tell oh my god. What's with the cute little baby? The okay. Ninja, the ninja. A legendary creature resembling a whale with smooth pale skin. Bro, what? It even has human -like hands oh my god, it's a... Uh... Oh Japanese, my gosh, should I go look in that for that? Human. Next is the bloop, the loudest the sound ever recorded in the ocean. The bloop. sounds like this. If the bloop is that actually what the bloop sounds like? It would be 215 meters long, oh. 700 feet. Then Holy crap. The oh, El Gran Maha! Be even larger than the bloop. Oh my the god. Suggesting it came from evolution or... Oh my god, El Gran Maha! Ready for a swim? No, not ready for a swim at all. I never want to go swimming ever again. Okay, next up we have another battle between El Gran Maha and the Blue. Six eyes. Wait, what? They're like dumb little dimples in my cheeks. <laughs> what is this, dude? I feel like my ears are burning. Um, okay, this is a strange video that I just found, and it's a battle between El Gran Maha and the Blue. But something is wrong with El Gran Maha. Back there, somewhere. Uh, there's somebody talking about me. Probably saying I look better swimming away. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's the Blue. Sufferable. There's the Blue. Fight El Dorito Locos Taco! Uh, fight a granola bar! The Ebola virus or whatever. El Gran Maha! Uh, Mountain Dew Baja Blast, right. El Gran Maha! <laughs> El Gran Maha! El Gran Maha! They got the grand part, right? You look like a grandma who woke up in the middle of the night and put her flat hair comb in her mouth thinking those were her dentures. Wow, her her roasted! I feel like your nemesis would be a full head of hair. You know, oh, okay, hair. burn. Sure. Imagine if I had hairballs like a cat. I'd never be able to cough them things up. They just get stuck in my teeth and just go right back down. Okay, so this is like a, a joke You're battle, roasting I guess. Dumbass. A roasting battle. Don't mind me. Do continue. And those dimples. Hey, 
Same time, precious. You look like somebody who dressed like the Joker for Halloween unironically. Probably the Joker. Okay, this is the weirdest the dance with the devil thing I've ever seen. And what eye do I even look at when I talk to you? Those things look like bubble wrap. I just want to pop them. Well, come closer and find out. No thanks. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, now I'm gonna do you. Oh my god, they're roasting each other. Yeah, you, you're fat. <laughs> wow, that was mean, dude. What? I've never heard that before. What originality. What's next? You gonna make jokes about me being blue? All right. You're so blue. Oh my god. I can call you a blueberry, but uh, you have more in common with the blue raspberry, considering blue raspberry is a fictional flavor. <laughs> oh, yeah. that. I don't get it. That wasn't funny. I'm still rich coming from a creature who's literally just an alternate version of me. You don't even have proper lore. No, <laughs> whatever. I'm longer at least. Yeah, well, I'm thicker and ribbed for pleasure. Like girl. Uh, and your teeth. Are okay, all right. This is a little strange, but that was entertaining. Next up, we have El Gran Maha, but for some reason, El Gran Maha is red. Okay, we got someone in a submarine. Bro, what's with these people and their submarine voyages? Can't you do something else with your money? Like, come on. Oh, dude. Oh, he's right there. Look at that. That's El Gran Maha. But he's red, dude. <gasps> Whoa. Hey, look at the submarine. Oh, my God, dude. El Gran Maha is red here. Why is he red? He's not usually red. Bro, it's like a red El Gran Maha. All right, so next up I have a true story. This is based on a true story anyways, or I don't know if this is actually real, but apparently it is. They were doing a fishing investigation and they found the bloop. Summer of 1997, a vessel from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration was conducting another study the on what? the part of the Pacific Ocean. That day was no different from the others, but it was on such an unremarkable day that something unprecedented happened. What did they find? Did they find the blue equipment on the vessel picked up an extremely strange low frequency sound, which was detected by hydrophones located at different depths in the ocean. No research hydrophones ever recorded such a sound before. Oh my god. On that day, a new species didn't know what they were dealing with or what it would lead to. The sound it was the bloop because of its similarity to the sound of bubbling water was detected near the coast of Chile by a hydrophone system at about five Oh my god, dude. Ocean. So this whole thing is based on a real story? decided that these were the sounds of some living creature, the size of which exceeds oh my the god. several times over. But is it also several bigger? times bigger than the blue whale? Legends of ancient sea giants bloop. have been stirring people's minds for hundreds of years. Well, there you have it. Apparently the bloop is real. So hmm. now it's time to go fishing for the bloop and El Gran Maha. Alright guys, before I go to trying to catch El Gran Maha, I'm going to need a fishing rod. I'm going to need the most expensive one. Let's see this one. This is a pretty big one. Look at these rods. Damn, this one's 80 bucks. A hundred bucks for a fishing rod? Damn, dude. I'm a, I think this looks like it's the most expensive one. Let's see. Alright. Let it stay on it. Doesn't look like it can take too much weight though. Maybe I should grab a fishing net. Okay, I don't think that's gonna work. I also bought all the steak just for El Gran Maha. I'm gonna use this as bait. So let's be real, you can't use a small worm to try to catch El Gran Maha. It's not gonna work. I might even have to use myself as bait. Guys, yeah, so we're gonna need to catch some fish so that we can use it as bait for El Gran Maha because he only eats big fish, right? What yes. are these for, Ali? This is for, this is for the bass. This is for the bass? Yeah, yeah, like the smaller size bass, like one pound to two pounds. For a pike? Oh, pike. Yeah, and this is, this is for murky water because it's shiny. Okay, it's okay. Shiny. All right, guys, I just got to the lake. I'm gonna pump up my boat right now and then we're gonna head into the water. Here it is, guys. Let's do this. Time to find El Gran Maha and the bloop. This time, I'm gonna be fishing for them. So guys, unfortunately, the most expensive fishing rod I found at Walmart was only hundred bucks. So I had to call my expert fishing friend, Ali, and he brought his specialized $1,000 fishing rod just for this. Guys, this is my fishing rod. We're gonna go fishing today. The most expensive rod I could find, $1,000. And Ali, how long have you been fishing for? I've been fishing for 20 years. You can call me an expert at this point. Dude, 20 years? 20 years. Oh my, guys, I think we're in good hands. We're gonna catch El Gran Maha or the Boots today. 
All right, guys, we just hit the waters. It's time to go looking for El Gran Maha and the bloop. I'm a little nervous. We're gonna try catching him. We're gonna try fishing for El Gran Maha. I'm a little skeptical though. I don't know if we're gonna be able to actually catch him because he's huge. What if I'm fishing and I get thrown into the water? Like, I'm pretty scared, but we're gonna risk it just for you guys. El Gran Maha sounds like a sketchy Cancun resort where you just, you shouldn't have booked there, but you booked the El Gran Maha and now there's no towels, there's no paper towels. Ah! There's, there's no paper, there's El Gran Maha. <laughs> hey mom, we got a resort, El Gran Maha. Oh no, you didn't book the El Gran Maha, no! <laughs> no! Don't have the chocolate cake, whatever you do, don't have the chocolate cake. <laughs> El Gran Maha. Are you in there somewhere? Somewhere in these dark waters lays El Gran Maha. Look at this, guys. This water's not really like clear, so El Gran Maha can really just be right down there. And I won't even know because it's so dark and murky. In here, there's actually meat. Dude, that there's smells. Cargo meat. It smells like shit. When you take off the lid, there's a lid right now. Take off the lid and there's a bunch of meat in the side. You can put it on the hook and you can throw it as a fishing bait. So guys, obviously the plan is we're not going to try catching El Gran Maha with these small little fish. We're going to try catching as much fish as we can. Then once we have a pile of fish, we're going to use all of that as bait. Try to catch El Gran Maha because we show up with a little worm. El Gran Maha is not even going to be interested in that. He's probably going to try eating us. So you got to... So this right here is a snail shell. In Paris, they call this escargot. Apparently people eat this. I don't know if I would eat this necessarily. All right, guys, we're just gonna make a little fire so that once we catch El Gran Maha, we're gonna eat him. <laughs> okay, that's probably not gonna happen, but a guy can try. Chopping, chopping away for some wood for the fire. You think about all the traumas you've had in life. I hate you, mom and dad. I hate you so much. Or about your ex. Stupid ex. Ugh. Mom didn't buy you the toy you wanted. What did you do with the toy? Ugh. Give me the toy, mom. It's not a toy! I'm running out of trauma. You think of more trauma? Your mom didn't buy you merch? Why don't you buy merch? All the merch! Me! Give me merch! I want merch! Starting the fire? Oh! Ooga booga! Ooga booga booga! Any second now. Oh! There's ash, there's ash <laughs> What? You started the fire finally? No, no, no. Starting? Momentum. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, look, look. Oh, never give up. Almost there. Okay, guys, Ali's struggling with the fire, but I think we need your help. Everyone comment down below, fire. For good luck, and the fire will start. Come on, type it, type it. Fire, fire, type it. Guys, I totally forgot to introduce you to the squad. This is Zach. What's up? This is Sam. What's up? And this is Ali. What's up, guys? The fishing What's expert. Guys, you can't go looking for El Gran Maha by yourself. You need an expert fishing wait, crew. Wait, did you say El Gran Maha? Yeah, Dude, El Gran Maha. Isn't that like the thousand foot? Wait, wait, that's the actual, that's the huge one, right? That's the beast, dude. Dude, no, I, I didn't sign up for that. I didn't, I'm not signed up for this. Dude, we can't look for El Gran Maha. I just ordered some sushi and now we're looking for El Gran Maha? No, no, I, I'm going, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> no, come back, Zach. I've been fishing for 20 years and I never caught anything like the Gran Maha. I've caught swordfish, shark, bass, grouper, Lobster, squid, giant squid. I caught a hammerhead shark with a bare hands. But I've never seen no Grand Maha. But you know what? It's a nice day. I came to help out. I brought my thousand dollar rod. We'll see how this goes. Okay, okay. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. Guys, Ali finally got the fire going. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> Okay, so I was fishing and then we were in a charter and some dude had a fishing rod and he was on a floaty and he got pulled off like five miles off the coast. Pulled uh, off? Yeah, like, like, like as in, like he got pulled by the, with, with his fishing rod in his hand by a shark. A shark? A shark, yeah. And they, we found him like five kilometers off, off the coast of the beach and he still had the shark on it. Pulled him in and it was a big shark. Bro, is he okay? He was fine. He said he's just like, Chill adventure. <laughs> work break. Damn, a chill adventure getting pulled by a shark. Yeah. Honestly, I'm gonna go back to Walmart. This yeah, it's, it's too much. There will be sushi. We're gonna catch El Gran Maha. Come back. Guys, I've never fished before, so Ali graciously offered me his expertise. So so I've already set it up. Got a nice little hook. Okay. We're gonna catch the bait for the El bait. Gran Maha. Yeah, yeah. We have to catch the the bait for El Gran Maha, not El Gran Maha. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. So we got we got a weighted hook right here with a little worm. Yeah. So this is a six pound because we're trying to get some small fish. All right, all and right. I want to make a big pile of them. A big pile of fish. Yeah, so what we're gonna do, okay, so you gotta first loosen up the drag and then flip this. Now, if you guys didn't catch that, what he said is we're gonna catch a ton of fish, we're gonna put them in a pile, and we're gonna use that to catch El Grande. 
Alright everyone, I took it upon myself to enter the waters looking for El Gran Maha and the bloop. And look, I don't know if I'm just not getting lucky today or whatever, but I've been paddling around for a couple hours and I still have not seen the bloop or El Gran Maha. So I don't know, I'm feeling a little discouraged, but I'm gonna keep looking. Wait a second. I brought my drone! Oh my god, guys, I totally forgot that I brought my drone! Okay, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna launch my drone into the sky. We're gonna surveillance the entire area, and that way for sure I'll find the bloop and El Gran Maha. Let's launch my drone. All right, Dragon Army, welcome back to another adventure. Look, I've been searching for El Gran Maha for so long that I, I kind of figured, hey, why not put my drone in the air? And that way we can surveillance the entire area. And that will give us the best, uh, best odds of looking for El Gran Maha. And once we find El Gran Maha, we're going to have to go in the middle of the water and set up island there. What do you think? I think we should do it, but I want some sushi. <laughs> okay, we're going to catch some sushi. But uh, man, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. This place is huge. Like, look at all the water. Bro, look at this. This is crazy. That is crazy. Are we in the ocean? Look at this. We're in the middle of the ocean, dude. Bro, this is the El Gran Maha waters. If I was the Gran Maha, I would definitely be hiding right here. Like somewhere here. And the thing is, guys, is that my screen's dark. I can't even see anything. Like, to be honest, you guys, your screen's probably perfect. I can't see anything, but I'm just going to fly my drone around until we see him. And then wherever we find El Gran Maha, we're going to set up island. Maybe go looking for him. But, uh, dude, this place is huge, bro. How big is this place? I tell you, bro, it's not the Holy. lake. Holy. Dude, this is crazy, bro. How many more animals are, are like in here? I don't know, bro. Let me go even higher, dude. Because El Gran Maha is huge, right? Yeah, he's probably the size of like at least a couple, a couple other fish. Yeah, like huge. So I gotta go really high up in the sky. El Gran Maha, bro. What would we do if we actually saw El Gran Maha? I'd probably I'm um, run for my life. I would show Ali because he doesn't believe in it at first. That's true. Where guys, Ali's still fishing yeah. somewhere. He still doesn't believe us. And to be honest with you. I don't have much confidence yet to tell him we found him because I haven't seen El Gran Maha yet. So I'm going to just keep flying my drone around and... Uh, hey, what's down here? What the heck? It looks like there's a ripple in the water down there. You see yeah, that? it does. What is that? It looks like there's something in the water down there. Hold on, let me even go a bit higher, dude. What the hell? Okay, so now we're basically like the same height as a plane. It says flight altitude exceeds uh, 400 meters or 150 meters. Sorry. So this is basically like... Now it's like, yeah, we're in airplane mode, basically. <laughs> So Are we in an airplane? We're basically in an airplane, okay? And we're um, in the water, just chilling somewhere here. So, yeah, we're going to find El Gran Maha. El Gran Maha, where are you? You here somewhere? Guys, keep your eyes filled. You can literally be here anywhere. Man, these waters are nice, though. I'm not going to lie. The thing about nature is it's so pretty. And you don't really imagine that something so scary can be lurking underwater. You know what I mean? And we're near, like, these rocks, guys. We're just kind of chilling. So... Are we anything. safe from him though? Like if he just pops out, we're safe, right? We're definitely not safe. Okay, well, that's, don't tell me that. But right now, the drone is pretty far from where we are. So we're going to find out where he is. If we find him there anyways. So I don't see him either, right? So, but, I mean, we're still up. Wait a second. Yo, did you see that? No, no. That was, that was just Right there, right there. No, right there. In the water. What? Bro, that's El Gran Maha. No, it isn't. Dude, that's... you see him? Oh, no. Oh, he's huge. Oh, that is not. Okay. Oh, my God, dude. He's, Allie. he's huge. Ali. Bro, he's huge. Look at him. Oh my god, that is crazy. Bro, he's huge. That's like, that's like a whole animal in there. Like oh my god, bro, he's massive. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Wait, he, dis he, he disappeared, man. He went underwater. Hold on, look, there's some people like on their boats or something. I don't think they realize. Uh, should we tell them? El Grandma is literally under them? Bro, they don't realize El Grandma is literally under them. We need to send them a text or a... something like that. Dude, what would you do if you were in the middle of the water I, I, and El Grandma was literally underneath you? That's what I would do. I would send, I would send an emergency <laughs> whistle right away, and I'd be like, "Watch out! There's a, El a giant El Gran Maha." <laughs> Dude, you're funny, man. Look at this. Guys, he's so silly. Okay, guys. So look, here's what we're gonna do. So I managed to triangulate the location of El Gran Maha. He's all the way in the middle of the water there. What we're gonna do is. No wonder we can't find him. We're on the opposite place of where he is. So we're going to have to go down there, I think, to be able to find him. Like, we're pretty far. No wonder. It's a good thing I brought my drone, right? Otherwise, thank we would have never yeah, seen him. Thank God. Well, at least we find him. Where is Ali? 
We found El Gran Maha! Maha! El Gran Maha! It's like a laughing gas. It is, yeah. yeah. Okay, let me keep looking. I, I think the bloop was there too. You know, the bloop is like real too. The bloop. Earth? Yeah, there's the, no, there's a there's a, a fish called the blue strong wind or strong wind. Oh, that's not good, dude. Yeah, the blue is somewhere here too. You guys see the blue anywhere? No, I don't see the blue. Guys, look at this. I'm gonna keep looking, but uh, so far I don't really. Oh wait, wait. Yo, yo there's the bloop. You see that? Whoa, what is that? Bro, the bloop is kind of like a ground. He's right there. He's just underneath oh my them. God. He's staring at us. Bro, he's he's like I think he's picking his prey. There's too many people, so he doesn't want. Wait, this just appeared. Guys, the thing is, these waters are so dark and murky. He can just vanish. Like, you just went back underwater. Oh, my God, bro. Hey, guys, I'm going to bring my drone back, and we're going to get out there, and we're going to look for El Gran Maha. We're going to fish for him. Let's go. All right, guys, so look. Okay. Quick update. I We managed to make a little island here in the middle of the water. Check this out. This is where we are right there. I'm going to zoom in on us. That's us right there, guys. We're chilling in the water, and now we're just waiting for El Gran Maha. So I'm going to keep you guys updated, but uh, we're in the middle of the water now. So if he's here, come out. We're not afraid of you. I'm pretty okay. terrified. Okay, uh Guys, we've been on this island so long that we're actually cooking our own food now. Look at that. Oh, baby. Guys, I'm totally kidding. The steak is not for us. It's actually for El Gran Maha. We, that's why we have so much meat. We're going to throw it all in the water and hopefully El Gran Maha actually eats the fish. Alright guys, we're fully committed. It's time to look for El Gran Maha. Look
Another fish for El Gran Maha. Down. Yo, that's another big one, bro. It's a, it's a chunker. It's you guys think we're going to catch El Gran Maha now? Yeah, we're going to go catch El Gran Maha. Let's go catch El Gran Maha. Right. Honestly, man, uh, we've been casting for hours and the sun's about to go down. I think I think we turn, call it and turn in. Just pack, it, pack it in? Yeah, pack it in. Pack it in, bro. Dude, uh, I you don't get it. I saw it on the drone, man. Here, let me let me try, man. Let me try again. Let me try again. Oh, we got it. Oh, that's, oh, we caught a fish, but that wasn't El Grandma. Huh? That's not El Grandma. Oh yeah. my God, well, it's not here. Grandma. Yeah, you should, should, okay, let me let me try again. Man. Yo, I'm telling you, man. I think it's time we pack it in. I just don't get it. Like, uh, oh, 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 something. Oh, something you're getting hit. Is, you're getting hit. Something's got, dude, it's heavy. Dude, it's freaking heavy. It's heavy, dude. Hold on. Real, 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 real. Aldo, 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 where are you, bro? Aldo. Aldo, 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 what the, what the f happened? You lost the rod and Aldo. What? Al Gran Maha took him. I've been looking for Aldo for a while. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what happened with him. Aldo, Aldo, what happened, man? He's down there. You saw him. Oh shit, Aldo, Aldo. What did you see? What did you see? You hear me come get you? Get me out of here. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm turning around, I'm turning around, I'm trying to get you. Dude, he's here somewhere. I'm telling you. Okay. Here we go. What the hell? Dude, he's here, he's here somewhere. Oh my god. Okay. 